Narrowboat, narrowboat, narrowboat will. Do you know, he's an absolute bounder. Really funny. Oh, back onto these narrow locks. I better take my um, fenders up, you know. This looks very narrow and full of crap. Pretty shallow and pretty weedy. I've got this anxiety again about these narrow locks. I've been stuck a couple of times in these locks, a few times in the past. One foot, perfect. Pretty impressive structure that, isn't it? Right, it's more up. Pretty impressive this, isn't it? The structures go, wow. Somebody coming down, so hopefully leave the gates open for me. gate maybe yeah looks like it beautiful I can't believe the guy in front I said to him he got stuck in the lots of defenders are down so he reversed and he went back in again with his fenders down I got stuck again I said defenders are down he just stood there looking at me confused I said, I said I climbed on his roof Took his fenders up and he got in. Oh my god, he's making his work double for me. Jeez. I hope he's okay. He seems a bit he seems a bit distant and a bit spaced out. I hope he's alright. You can't quite calculate what's happening, you know. Seems like a seasoned boater, but let's hope he's alright. I'm getting a bit worried here because I'm losing water going up, you know. Pounds are getting low now. I'm on lock number eight still. I have to set this one, push his boat out for him, shut the gate, set this one for myself, come back and set my own gate. Now the pound's getting low. Mm, eh? Trials and tribulations rip. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? A flight of locks. Lock number seven. Eh? <laughs> oh my god, he's left, the he's left the sluice open. So this pound's flooding. Oh my god, I don't know what's up with him. Oh my god. I don't know what he's doing. It's a nightmare. He's flooded with a pound. That guy's scary. Seems like a veteran, doesn't doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't know what he's doing at all. It's frightening. He's drained the pound above. This pound's now flooded. And now there's gonna be no water further up. I'm not sticking behind this bloke. When I get to the top, I'm off. I don't want me nowhere near him. He's drained the pound, now he's stuck. Oh, for fuck's sake. <coughs> Jeez. All the pounds are above are empty now, almost. <laughs> I want to stop swearing, but I'm just so fucking annoyed. This is almost empty, look. I've got to try and fill this up now. Shit. Enough water in this pound to get me up. 
I've got a horrible feeling we're not going to be. more for me to get through this. I hope there is. It's about half a lock full. I hope it just gets me through. It's half a lock in that lock. It's drained off. Crikey, if I get stuck. I'll be, I'll be really annoyed at that bloke. He can sort me out. He can get me out of the shit. He's got me in it. You're moaning. Just get on with it. I <laughs> know. Oh dear, it's making life tw 10 times harder though. You know, doing 17 locks, you don't want 17 double locks helping some other geezer. I ain't got a clue what he's doing, you know. So now it's just getting across the bottom of the lock. That's the main worry now. Getting caught on the sill, you know, let's try it. to line on just top everything off let's get through here I'll be uh, I'll be over the moon in the next one his engines overheated now he's got a three cylinder lister no beater sorry it's overheated the guys are walking F word disaster I want to be as far away from him as possible I said to him can, you, can he walk up and let some water down because you because you've drained the pounds, he's going to walk up and let a few locks down. I want to shake him, but <laughs> I can't, can I? He doesn't seem to know what he's doing, he's drifting around, he's like a bit um, spaced out, I think. Of course I filmed it in slow motion and now I've got no sound to it. Of course, one of those, it's one of those times, isn't it? I'm almost stuck here, I can't quite get through this pound. At the end of this pound, it just becomes so hard. And I'm just worried it's so hot, such a hot day and the engine's going to overheat. Uh, I can't get through it. I finally stopped because I was going to overheat otherwise. I'm going to overheat as well. So I can't get off that. I'll get to the front end. I can get off then. And let some water in. Ah! Well, I'm stuck here now. Oh, welcome back to the canals, Will. I'm stuck. In the pound. I can't get off either. I'm not traipsing in this mud. I have to wait till it comes back. That engine cooled down a bit. And that should be flowing there. Ooh, drifting forward a bit. Come on. No, I'm not. Yeah, he's letting water in. Oh, brilliant. Well done, that man. Just fill all the pounds up now, then. Just have to wait a minute. Oh, thank goodness. Just going to let more water in now from the top. That's not enough. Just can't move. Oh, there's closed. Those sluices down there. Just going to let a bit of water in. That guy's worrying me, I don't, I don't know what it's going to do. Alright, I'm moving, almost. Almost getting in. Yay! Not too quick now because I might get caught on the sill. It's like it's snowing. All the seeds from the trees. Incredible. I'm just going to walk up and let some water down. Absolute disaster this is. My engine's starting to get hot now, I can smell it. So I've left it to cool down for a bit and now I'm gonna go up and let some water down because it's still about two foot two foot low. I've got three locks to go. It's busy. Oh I'm so tired, I really am. I had to walk up. I had to walk up and let some just let some water in here. There's a boat waiting there. Oh, blind! What a palaver! He's waiting to come down. There's two of us stuck in the lock down there in the pound. I'm just letting some water through now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it already. Beautiful at the top, isn't it? Northamptonshire Arm Lock Flight, Grand Union Canal, 
17 locks, top lock number one. I'm going to work out, I mean, locks have put on about 25 today, maybe. Still letting water in, still letting it in, Ripper. Still flowing out, Ripper. I was talking to the guy and he said, I said, you've got to try and avoid these mishaps, let water out, you know. See, it's only May as well, like, like nothing, nothing to do with me. He's just destroyed this flight, I can't believe it. Oh God, I'm standing there biting my tongue going, <laughs> please stop me from slapping this blow, please. Welcome back, Will, to the canals. Come on in, brother. Well, we'll I'll open her arms to you on this canal. Oh, you canal, you have, you have drawn me in into a world of hell. Well, I'm hoping I've got enough water in here to get to get out of here. Oh, God, I hope so. When they let the water in, I'll, I'll come out. There's a boat behind, I think, as well. No, he's letting the water out. Sugar. Almost there, Rippers. This lock and the lock in front, and that's it. Oh, nearly there. Oh, it's four o'clock, I'm still going. The scary thing is, I still feel alright. It's an old classic car show, by the looks of it, and bikes. Oh, one more lock, and I'm done then. So it's eight this morning until four. I stopped for lunch, which was like stuffed it on my face about ten minutes. Wow. I want to feel it tomorrow, I can feel it, you know, one of those things. Almost there. That guy up there. Do not come near me. Last one, yay! Last one. There we are. At the top. This is it. Completed. What I do now is find a mooring. Wherever it is, I don't care. I've got to moor up. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm giving this engine because it's beautiful. I'm hoping there's some armco there and I can see possibly some moorings. Oh, I hope so. It's now about 4.30. I've just had enough. I've literally had enough. And scrapey, scrapey, no, no, no! To top it all off. Oh, that's nice. Scrapey, scrapey, scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> oh, hey, wonderful. Wonderful boating back on the canals. I do believe it's bridge number three. On the corner, that's fabulous. Oh, it's just fantastic. Trying to get in here, it's too shallow now. I want to go further down. Ward outside Northampton Marina, I think it is. I have to look it up, I'm not sure. Quarter to five. Wow, what a day that's been. Stepped on my glasses. I got stuck. So I started here. So I've done 17 locks today. 12. Oh, it's a flight of 12. So it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I started here, I think, on that lock. Because it felt like 27. Absolutely exhausted. Totally, utterly washed out. I'm now up here somewhere, I think. Um, where am I? I've got to be around here somewhere on this junction. Blisworth Tunnel. I want to be going that way. Up to Crick. Hmm, okay. I don't think I've got to that. I'm around here somewhere. I don't think I've got to that junction yet. So, uh wonderful mooring. I've got some mooring back behind me and it was too shallow. I had to move again. Oh, please. Glad it's over. Well, I've been here two days. Time to get off. Stop the stuff in there, really nice. Got diesel. Uh, I'm going to get some water now. I need some shopping. I'm going to turn left at the junk, but to Gaten Junction towards Blissworth. Go to Blissworth shopping. Hopefully turn around and go up towards uh, Napton Junction, is it? Right, let's crack on. <laughs> 